learn to create load balancer using Netflix Zool and its solid bonding with Spring Cloud. Here we will mainly concentrate on API Gateway pattern and its usage. We will build a demo where we will create a microservice ecosystem and test its effectiveness and applicability of Zool API Gateway in the whole ecosystem table of contents. First way Zool fits in microservices ecosystem. Second Zool components. Third overview of demo. Fourth student microservice. Fifth create Zool gateway service proxy. Sixth demo and the last is summary. Now we will look at the use case where Zool fits in microservices ecosystem. A common problem when building microservices is to provide a unique gateway to the client applications of your system. The fact that your services are split into small microservices, apps that shouldn't be visible to users otherwise it may result in substantial development or maintenance efforts. Also there are scenarios when whole ecosystem network traffic may be passing through a single point which could impact the performance of the cluster. To solve this problem, Netflix, a major adopter of microservices, created and open-sourced its Zool proxy server and later Spring under Pivotal has adapted this in its Spring Cloud stack and enabled us to use Zool easily and effectively with just few simple steps. Zool is an edge service that proxies requests to multiple backing services. It provides a unified front door to your ecosystem, which allows any browser, mobile app or other user interface to consume services from multiple hosts. You can integrate Zool with other Netflix stack components like Histrix for fault tolerance and Eureka for service discovery or use it to manage routing rules, filters and load balancing across your system. Most importantly all of those components are well adapted by Spring Framework through Spring Boot Cloud approach. Now we will look Zool components. Zool has mainly four types of filters that enable us to intercept the traffic in different timeline of the request processing for any particular transaction. We can add any number of filters for a particular URL pattern. First are the pre-filters, these are invoked before the request is routed. Second are the post filters, these are invoked after the request has been routed. Third are the root filters, these are used to root the request. Fourth are the error filters, these are invoked when an error occurs while handling the request. Now it's time for overview of Zool demo. Now let's make our hands dirty by creating a simple yet meaningful ecosystem using Zool proxy. We will create following artifacts to demonstrate the wheels rolling. Student microservice a Spring Boot-based microservice which will just expose a single URL to enable some search functionality. For simplicity we will just return hard-coded values, but in real world we can connect to anywhere from this service to get the data. Zul Gateway Service Proxy, it would be again a Spring Boot-based, which will basically intercept all the traffic of student service and apply series of request filter and then route to the underlying service and again at the time of response serving. It will apply some response filtering. Since it is a gateway, we can literally take many interesting and useful action using the filters effectively. These are the sum of the common responsibility of gateway service. 1. Apply microservice authentication and security in the gateway layer to protect the actual services. 2. We can do microservices insights and monitoring of all the traffic that are going into the ecosystem by enabling some logging to get meaningful data and statistics at the edge in order to give us an accurate view of production. 3. Dynamic routing can route requests to different backend clusters as needed. 4. We can do runtime stress testing by gradually increasing the traffic to a new cluster in order to gauge performance in many scenarios. For example, cluster has new HW and network setup or that has new version of production code deployed. 5. We can do dynamic load shedding that is allocating capacity for each type of request and dropping requests that go over the limit. 6. We can apply static response handling i.e. building some responses directly at the edge instead of forwarding them to an internal cluster for processing. We will now create the Spring Boot project for student microservice and add few REST endpoints to this service for testing the proxy later. To do that we need to add one REST controller by adding annotation at REST controller. For simplicity, we will add one model class student. After all changes, the class will look like this. Now open the application.properties file and add those entries. 
Here we are giving one name to this service by property spring dot application dot name equals student and also we are defining the default port by server dot port equals 8090. We need to override the default port as we will have multiple instances of different microservices will be running in local host. Now as the server has started, let's go to the browser and check the endpoints. Now we will create the actual proxy service using Zool. This will be again a Spring Boot based microservice, but it has a special feature. It will use Zool to create our API Gateway proxy which will proxy the student service. Later we can add any number of microservices like student service and able to create a strong microservice ecosystem. We will now add few filters as we have already described. Zool supports four types of filters namely pre, post, root and error. Here we will create each type of filters. Need to extend Zool filter. Here filter type method can only return any one of four string, pre, post, root or error. Depending on this value the filter will act like a particular filter. Run method is the place where our filter logic should be placed depending on our requirement. Also we can add any number of any particular filter based on our need. This case filter order will come into place to determine the order of that filer at the phase of execution of that type of filter. Now add the add enables all proxy annotation on Spring Boot application class present in SRC folder. With this annotation, this artifact will act like a Zool service proxy and will enable all the features of our API gateway layer as described before. We will then add some filters and root configurations. Open application.properties and add these entries. Here zool.roots.student.url will route all traffic to request for slash student to the actual student service server. This way we can add root to other services as well. Ribbon Eureka enabled is auto integrated with Zool. Server.port is needed to override the default port, as we will have multiple instances of different microservices will run in local host. So we have enabled Zool, added required configurations and developed filters. So now we can do the basic testing to understand the whole thing. Now once the server started, go to browser and test whether the endpoints are working by accessing the student service. That's all about this pattern. I will suggest you to do it of your own. Add some more underlying services and root request through proxy. Apply different types of filters and add real logic in filter.